What's going on guys? Captain Cody Davis here. Hope you guys enjoyed those fish catches I just played for you. I intended on having a lot more of those in this video, but it's about 10 a.m. and I already have to head in because my trolling motor's dead. Not sure what's going on. I just put brand new batteries in the boat a couple weeks ago. So the only thing I can think of is maybe when I plugged the boat in last night, it might have tripped a breaker and was never charging after all. I'm not sure. So I'm going to get home and try to figure that out. Uh, and I'm really bummed because I just got up here on the north end of the lake and as you can see the fish were biting this morning uh, Typical textbook deal though. You can see in the background. It's windy rainy cold overcast uh, That's when they should be biting and they were and then once that front really blew through now we got bluebird skies and Bluebird skies and sunshine and the bite definitely slowed down a lot, but I was kind of prepared for that and uh you know, really wanted to start flipping some of these chop grass mats like behind me and just kind of dragging a worm around just kind of adapting to the situation because i'm sure we could have tracked down some fish i think i caught one or two and then i just hit the troll and it you could just tell a difference right now so i'm hoping it's just my batteries didn't charge but either way i'm gonna head back to the ramp but before i do i thought i'd give a quick uh okeechobee fishing report for you guys uh i've been working like crazy been very blessed and very thankful for all the trips i've been getting and uh, fishing's been awesome. I mean, I think every single trip I've had, we've caught big fish for the most part. Been mixing it up doing artificial and shiner fishing. The shiner fishing deal, uh, I've been fishing mainly up here on the north end, and I've got kind of a little honey hole that's been producing some really big fish. It's not fast and furious like shiner fishing typically is out here. It's more of just to soak them and wait, but when the bobber goes under, I mean, it's been a lot of fish over four and five pounds, some really big ones in the certain area. Uh, and even all the other areas I've been fishing around the lake, I mean, it's, it's been like that for me anyway. It hasn't been, you know, 40, 50 fish in a morning trip on shiners. It's been maybe 10 or 20, but, you know, the quality is definitely there. And that's what I kind of target when I'm out here on Okeechobee. I mean, you can catch all the two pounders you want on your home lakes. When you come here, you want to catch the big ones. So I'm kind of doing that. Artificial, 
it is a grind, but it's hit and miss. You know, you can have some mornings where you catch 30, and then the next morning you only catch six, but you are there are big ones around. And uh, I've been doing a lot of different things, been really mixing it up, you know, day to day. You got to adapt, obviously, to what's going on. But I'll kind of show you what I've been using. Uh, just a swimming worm, a zoom speed worm, or this gambler burner worm is really good. I've been throwing this on 20 pound fluorocarbon and just swimming this around any submerged grass I can find. Uh, you know, dollar pads, eelgrass, um, hydrilla even, everything you can find that's just submerged underwater. Swimming this around and ticking it almost like you would a chatterbait. This has been getting some big fish. It's slow and boring, but that's been working for me. Um, and then, uh, as you saw today, I caught a bunch on my swim jig. Same thing, black and blue swim jig. You know, no, uh, you know, no secret there. That's been that's kind of my go-to, and uh, that's been working. The problem is with all the crazy winds we've been having um, and the rough weather, it's been blowing a lot of junk around. Like I'll just reach over right here. All this chopped eelgrass and stuff. It makes it very difficult to throw that swim jig reeling it through a lot of times that gets caught on the line so i've been really having to switch over to like a swim bait like a gambler easy swimmer or a skinny dipper or a big easy what have you so any kind of swimming swim bait um and because just because that kind of deflects off of that floating chop grass and whatnot i've been catching a lot of key fish on this as well baits like that and then um as of this morning I ended up catching some fish on a frog. I'm not a frog thrower in the, during this time of year. I really like throwing it when it's just 100 degrees and miserably hot. That's when I have the most confidence in it. But as you saw, I mean, they, they were chewing it this morning, but it kind of called for it with the overcast and wind and that's when they're gonna bite it. The flipping bite, um, it's here, but it hasn't been as good as I thought it'd be. I'm not hardly catching anything flipping like the, the light stuff, the three quarter ounce, the half ounce to any isolated reeds. I'm not, I haven't found that bite. I'm sure some people have, I haven't. But uh, you know, the ounce and a half weight, you don't get a lot of bites on it. And I don't, I'm not even gonna lie to you and say you get, a, when you do get a bite, it's a big one. You do, you know, you might flip this for 45 minutes, get a bite and it might just be a one pounder, but you know, them six and seven pounders are under there too. It's just how long you wanna stick this thing out. There's so much good stuff to punch on the lake right now that it's kind of almost overwhelming. But uh, if you put this, you know, bait, your heavy weight in your hand, you will get bit. The bait absolutely doesn't matter, in my opinion. You can put a beaver, a craw, a Senko style bait, it doesn't matter. But uh, the lake's at 15 something, it's coming down, which is good. Everywhere you're at, as long as you go to the back, you will find clean water. These fish are wanting to spawn. Um, South Bay, the whole south end where I live is a mud pit. That's the only place that I would say I would just stay away from. I mean, the fishing was great there for a while, but these north winds are just really beating it up. So that's it. Uh, I'm sorry this, you know, this video got uh, shortened. I thought I was gonna have a sleigh fest on here for you guys, which I didn't. I did this morning, they were biting, but I don't know. I'm, I gotta go home and try to figure out what's going on here with my uh, my batteries. But gonna go home, do that, and uh, probably just around, mess around in the house. Me and Breezy are finally in the house, so we're excited about that. And I'm probably gonna start bringing everything down from the old place and putting it in my fishing room out in the garage and getting that organized today, since I gotta be off the water so early. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys wanna book a trip with me, uh, my contact info is below. Get in while you can, because my phone has not stopped ringing. It was like everybody just decided, let's go to Lake Okeechobee and fish with Captain Cody which I'm very, you know, very, very thankful for. Uh, but if you want to want to get a trip in between now and March, kind of the hot time, give me a call and uh, see if I got room for you or see if I got any available dates. So like, subscribe, comment any questions you guys have. I'm more than happy to help you out and I appreciate you guys watching.